barely averted, understanding a common English phrase. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, barely averted. This is a phrase you might come across in books, movies, or even in daily conversations. By the end of this video, you'll understand what it means and how to use it effectively in your own communication. So, let's dive in. The phrase, barely averted, combines two words, barely, and averted. Let's break them down. Barely, means only just, almost not. Meanwhile, averted, refers to preventing something bad or dangerous from happening. When we put these two words together, barely averted, describes a situation where a bad or undesirable outcome was almost not prevented but, at the last moment, it was. It's often used to describe narrow escapes or close calls in various situations. To understand, barely averted, better, let's look at some examples. 1. The car accident was barely averted. This means that a car accident almost happened but was avoided at the last moment. 2. We barely averted a disaster in the kitchen. This suggests that something almost went terribly wrong while cooking, but the situation was saved just in time. These examples show that the phrase is often used to describe situations where quick thinking or action prevented a bad outcome. Now, let's practice using barely averted in sentences. Thanks to the quick response of the firefighters, the forest fire was barely averted. The misunderstanding between the two friends was barely averted, and they made up quickly. Notice how the phrase adds a sense of drama and relief to these sentences. When using barely averted, be careful not to confuse it with narrowly escaped. Although similar, narrowly escaped often implies that someone physically got away from a dangerous situation, while barely averted is more about preventing the situation altogether. And that's it for today's lesson on barely averted. I hope you now feel more confident using this phrase in your English conversations. Remember, learning a language is all about practice, so try incorporating barely averted into your daily speech. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.